is Deborah, and this is my friend Shireen. Hi. Our team name is Dev OEPS. We have two team members, me, Deborah, and my friend Shireen. We are nine years old. We go to Opera State Primary School. We are classmates from Ford Grace, our classmate. We both like <coughs> robotics. We participated in U12 Rescue Challenge. We needed to collect the gems in the map and avoid the obstacles and traps. Our method that we used was wall following. Our method got us a thousand points. We concluded that wall following was the best choice for the preliminary map. How to wall follow? Wall following is a tactic where you make sure you keep close to the borders of the game. Wall following can be good because super gems appear at the borders of the map. You can also follow the wall to get to deposit boxes if the map has them on the slide sides. In this map, we should wall follow clockwise because of the object blocking the deposit boxes. To wall follow, you need to go towards the wall, then turn away, then follow through. That will keep the robot near the wall. How to wall follow? If the loaded objects are less than five, then you drive forward. If But if you see a wall, then you aggressively turn away huge curves so that it will find more gems. If the loaded objects are equal to or greater than five, then it will drive curved and go towards the wall. And if it sees a wall, then it will slowly turn away and keep driving towards the wall, and that will keep the robot near the wall. We are going fast when we are empty. Because at this stage, we don't care about the traps. We deposit after we have more than two objects. You see, now that we have three objects, it will successfully deposit. It will follow when there are lots of objects. You see, in the loaded objects area, there are a lot of objects. And now it's wall <coughs> falling along the bottom of the map so that it can get into the deposit area. It aggressively turns if we don't have many gems, which is why it's turning wide curves and big turn so that I can get more and then it will start to wall follow. The robot avoids the trap. You see it bounces off the yellow circle when it has more than two. It gets deposit trouble after it deposits because of the, it the did, aggressive turn. It did not deposit because there were less than two objects because we want to create a super gem. It <coughs> wall follows on full objects so that it can get into the deposit area. It turns a lot and then gets into the wall following area. It wall follows at the top of the map and then it deposits successfully. And now wait for it. Give it a few seconds. We get 1,000 points! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> but at the end, we missed the super the gem. The super gem because it was full of objects. So yeah, we never got to get the super gem, but we did the project successfully. <coughs> we get 1,295 points, but we never made it to the deposit box because of the time. 
Cleaning robots can use ultrasonic sensors and avoid walls and people. When they have bad coding, they will crash into people. They should treat people like obstacles and traps in the game. Thank, Thank you, you for listening. listening. If you, you like, like this, this video, video, like, like and subscribe, subscribe so that we can, can win an award. An award. Bye. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,